Hello, Ken Weller here with New Tech Inventors. We're down at the print farm, and as you can see, we've got a couple jobs going here. What we're doing on these A8 Pluses, we're printing a large part. This particular part is taking over a day to print, and we're printing with a 0.8 millimeter nozzle and the same thing over on this printer here we're a little bit farther along on it again printing with 0.8 millimeter nozzle this larger nozzle gets a lot more filament down and we've played around with our infill, our wall thicknesses, even the support. This little center area here and these two round areas are supports for some cavities that we have in the bottom of this part. Now you can see on this A8 over here we're a lot farther along with this part in the printing. You can see this was a test with 10% infill. Now we've gone to 12%. We're trying to keep this part at or below two pounds. And it's taking an entire spool of filament to print this part using the 0.8 millimeter nozzle. You can see we're at 215 degrees on the nozzle and 60 degrees on the bed. The purpose of this 215 degrees for the PLA is to keep the filament hot enough when you're pushing 0.8 millimeters of filament through the nozzle that's a lot of additional filament and we want to make sure it's heated well enough so that the layers will adhere to each other right now on this one if you can see we've been running 19 hours and 3 minutes C is at 1.32 that's our large part printing with the larger nozzle. The whole idea of printing these parts, especially this larger part here with the larger nozzle, is the fact that it takes a full, practically a full spool of filament or 300 meters of filament to print this part. Now, when you print 300 meters of filament, normally on normal settings with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, you'll be looking at about a nine day print job for this part. However, playing with some of the settings and tweaking the printers, we've been able to print this part in just over 24 hours using the 0.8 millimeter nozzle. Now it does make the print job a little coarser. You may be able to see some of the texture of of the filament and so forth. However, it does print a pretty sturdy part and is functional. Cosmetics weren't number one concern here. Number one concern was an economical and functional part. And I think that's what we've achieved. Now I can go back to like a 0.6 millimeter nozzle and 
be able to clean up things a little bit, add a little more infill, get a little neater job. However, time is of the essence when you're making a large number of these. And currently I only have four large format printers down here at the print farm. We haven't been printing anything this large up until now. So I do have uh, some other printers up at the old print farm up in the bonus room. I have an ANET ET5. That one will probably do a pretty good job. And I also have a couple others up there that are large enough to handle this job. But we're going to see how it goes and if we can get a good quality and a reliable part and running just over 24 hours with the four printers down here we can run about 10 days and get 40 parts so that's not too bad if we need to run faster we'll get a couple of the other printers and get them set up okay printing this part with our 0.8 millimeter nozzle, we have a layer height of 0.32. So we're still on the first layer. So our Z axis is 0.32. On the second layer, that will be 64, and then 96 for the third layer, and so forth. So we can go and look at any of these and the one that we have over here, this one over here that's pretty far along, if you look at it, and this one, the Z axis is at 136.32. So you divide 136.32 by 32, and that will tell you which layer we're currently printing. So that's the way we can keep up with that. And of course it's going to show us we're at 19 hours and 22 minutes now of run time. I mentioned we're running 215 degrees where we normally run about 200 or 205 with this particular filament and get a pretty good result. But that's when you were extruding a 0.4 millimeter bead of filament. Here we're extruding a 0.8 millimeter bead which is much larger and it requires more heat to heat that quantity of filament coming through the hot end and the nozzle. So that's why I've set it up to 215 and that will help these layers to adhere to each other. On this particular printer I had to make sure that my Z axis was exactly the same on each side to get the machine level. Then I had to level the bed to that and get just the right settings for the Z axis on this first layer to get a good bead and good adhesion on this glass bed. I had to improvise a little bit with my filament holder. It high enough that it shouldn't obstruct things when I get to the top of this part. But being inside this rack I couldn't set it up as high as I did on the other one. As you saw previously we started out printing this part here and it was taking us, we had gotten it down to where it was a little bit over 24 hours to print that. We made some modifications to it, put a shelf inside and still kept it at just a little bit over 24 hours. Then we modified it some more put the shelf, but lowered the top, and we got this print down to about 21 hours. 
so that was much faster and then we made some more changes to it as you can see here we reinforced this front and made the whole thing just a little bit larger and it's actually a heavier box using a little bit more filament and a little more strength if you notice there's a difference in the texture on the outside you don't see as much of the infill pattern as you did on the older ones here because we are printing at a little bit higher temperature too and the previous uh, videos I was showing you we were printing we had gotten up to 215 degrees well these are printing now at 225 to 230 degrees for the PLA and doing a real good job at that and coming out pretty strong and again printing in less than 24 hours actually about 21 hours and 23 minutes I believe so that's a much faster print time with 0.8 millimeter nozzle and we're using almost the full 330 meters of filament on a standard spool to uh, print one of these boxes so that's what we ended up with and it looks like we finally have our printers tuned in and the temperature tuned in at about 225 to 230 and things are looking good so until the next time happy printing from new tech inventors